Hey YouTube, it's Jim with Boots and Bows Outdoors. I'm um, out here on the Mississippi Ponderosa. I got a fly bothering me. But anyway, out here on the uh, Mississippi Ponderosa, and we have a special guest lecturer, Big. He's got flies going after him too. Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, that last video, we did some uh, Catawba worm hunting on the Catawba worm trees, and uh, those fish were just eating them up. So we're going to go take a look at the trees now and see if we can find any more Catawba worms. Uh, from where we're sitting out on, by the front porch, they're looking a little bare. But we'll see. Maybe they got a few few in there that we can, uh, we can harvest. And some stragglers. Some stragglers. We can harvest them, put them in the, in the freezer, and use them for some bait. So get back with y'all in just a minute. Later. Hardly anything left to the trees. Top worms have done a job on them. See if we got any uh anybody home. There's one. I think if there's just one, we're just gonna let him ride. Yeah, it looks pretty much like they've all gone to ground. And they'll be pupating. Alright, sorry. Thought we would have some uh some guys left, but apparently not. One thing about these trees, look at how quickly they're putting leaves back on. So uh, evolution's a pretty wonderful thing. It's tree evolved to propagate uh sphinx moth and a catawba worms and come back i mean y'all uh, new growth even have some stem growth going on so so to tell y'all the real story on the top people say that they come out the ground and then they get in the tree and you got a plant yeah, uh, this will have they plenty plenty of they, uh, leaves on it tree. for the sphinx moth to come and Lay the eggs on the back of the leaves, and then the top worms will feed, go down to the ground, burrow inside, and pupate, come back out as a sphinx moth. So, it's pretty cool. Some greenage, greenery. Come on, focus. There we go. Now we got some focus. All right. I don't know if it is, but I guarantee they're not going to have much to eat. Whoa, look at that. Big found a baby Catawba. We'll name him Orville. You better, you gotta, he's going to have a rough climb because this is about all this tree has left on it. Some dried leaves and a few green branches. I don't know if they uh, they eat the branches, but this fella here, oh, there's, there's another one. We have Catawba worms, I do. Oh, I guess we get a of warm weather this one will start popping up some uh some leaves too all right you still here oh wow cool um yeah no catawba worms Ooh, Ooh, there was one it, well there was one yeah there was one worm and a couple of babies that we saw um i didn't get to get a shot of the the one that was up there but it's okay um you know look at the other video if you want to see what they look like the um <clears throat> no catawba worms so things don't always work out like we want in the video world. You, you know. think since we saw bluebirds this morning, 
the bluebirds might have come and got them. Maybe. Because we seen them two days ago. Yeah. There was about a dozen on there. Yeah. And now they got one. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 possible. Do birds eat catawba worms? I have no idea. Fish eat them. Well, fish definitely eat them. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe the bluebirds did get them. Got a lot of hummingbirds, too, but I don't think hummingbirds, don't eat, think them. hummingbirds eat that big of a worm. I know they eat bugs. They'd rustle them. Yeah. Yeah, they would rustle with them because those type of worms were about as big as the hummingbirds are. So, anyway, thank you all for, for hanging out. If you hung out this long, um, we really wanted to do a video where we uh, harvested them and showed you how we were going to freeze them and everything to put them, you know, save them for later on to fish with. But that, um, <clears throat> that didn't happen. So, all right, guys, uh, thank you. Mr. Ponderosa for bringing us out here and seeing if we could harvest the worms. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.